behalf of uh, my dad, who uh, would be thrilled tonight to see so many people enjoying uh, so much good grub. I was uh, teasing our friends over here. I can hardly wait for the midnight buffet. <laughs> oh, I can hardly wait. I'm serious. <laughs> There's not a midnight buffet, Benny? That was one of the nicest meals we've had at the Davidi uh, this week. <laughs> the uh, write-up in the program says a lot of what our family would uh, want you to know about Hub. Uh, certainly uh, uh, with us here tonight, obviously he loved my mom, his wife Lena, uh, his three kids, uh, and the three grandkids. He uh, loved belonging to so many of the service clubs especially his beloved Davidi Club, where uh, mom and dad spend, spent most of their time. But what he really, really loved was to laugh and to eat and to have a glass of wine as well. And, uh, but what he really loved was to be Italian. So I'm hoping that uh, tonight, maybe I'll share a couple of uh, stories with you about uh, about uh, growing up Italian and uh, some of Hub's Italian stories. First one I want to tell you is a little bit about Hub. He loved to garden. And uh, even after they left their house on Guinevere and moved into the condominium, the uh, dad uh, dug up a chunk of land at the stone gate and he grew tomatoes and peppers, garlic, uh, whatever, of course. Uh, now, the deer are prolific in that area, so you can imagine it's the only place in the entire city where the deer have Italian accents. <laughs> hey, what's the hub going to make it today? Did you change the peppers the last week? They were nice. You can just imagine the deer in the neighborhood. Hub also loved, well, all Italians, we love to haggle. We haggle over everything. And there's no sense putting a price tag on anything because that doesn't matter. We're going we're gonna to have to have a little negotiate. So the story is about mom and my brother Petey and dad. They're in Italy. And uh, dad's buying a bag of tomatoes or whatever it was. And, of course, he's haggling with the lady, the little old Italian lady who's selling the tomatoes in the stand. And they're haggling. And she's yelling and yelling, and he's throwing the bag back at her. You know, they're just negotiating for this bag of tomatoes. And they're yelling and screaming and throwing the money around. Finally, they settle on how much the bag of tomatoes is going to be. My dad pays her and thinks, boy, has he got the better of her. And he's beaming to my mother and my brother when I showed her. And she walks up and puts another tomato in the bag to say, hey, you didn't come anywhere near the price you should have got that. <laughs> but that's how, that's the Italian way. He was so proud that day. When we moved into our house on Gulf Street, now this is significant, it's the fall of 1963. Think about what happened that fall. The first thing Hub did was set up the great press down in the basement. I, it was one of the only years I remember that actually being there, these huge crates of California grapes in the, uh, down, coming into the house. And of course, it was to make the homemade wine in the fall. And if you could imagine, you, know, you can just imagine how about getting your priorities right. Here we are watching John Fitzgerald Kennedy's funeral. We're grinding the grapes and planting the <laughs> Grinding the grapes. You can just imagine where, where the family's priorities were split that particular day. It's also it's not very unusual to see sausage and salami, prosciutto, everything provolone hanging in the basement. And I do know that our friends would come over. Even to this very day, Friends who I haven't seen in 20 or so years would still say, oh my God, if we come into your house and you walk through that downstairs, uh, one, one house in particular, and all this meat is hanging over the place. It was just one of the most eerie things. But I gotta tell you, Hub was really, really proud of our culture. And besides, you never know when you're gonna need a sandwich. <laughs> Which leads to one of the final stories, going to the show. With all the kids that go to the show, they get to have popcorn and candy and pop. Not the Fidelli family. We would have a cup of cola and provolone sandwich in the wax paper. And please, Lucho, please tell me you have to go through that as well. So, you know, just, you're embarrassed. All your friends are around, and there's mom and dad looking, 
and you have to unwrap that wax paper. I don't even know if they make that anymore. You can imagine unwrap, unwrapping that wax paper. And so if you couldn't hear our family, you certainly could smell our family. Everybody would know when Hunt Fidelli and his kids, and Hunt and Lena and the kids were in at the Capitol, at the Capitol Theater, because you could certainly smell us. How loved the Davidi Club. This was the place for Dad to share all his stories. He would enjoy sharing them with Benny uh, over uh, while they're making the making the porchetta, making the seats. He would uh, really enjoy telling these stories as him and Jimmy Marmino would be out together uh, hustling for the club, selling something for the newsletter that they started, or uh, well, basically anytime anybody would see the two of them coming, they would say, "Uh oh, there's Jimmy and Hub. Get your wallet out," because <laughs> that's what happened. He would enjoy uh, meeting with Vince, with President Vince, and uh, talking about the club and, and just being so proud of the changes that were made under Vince's administration. And if he saw this building today, Vince, oh my God, he would be so proud of you and all of the, all of the uh, members who uh, fundraised uh, to be able to have this club come to such a turnaround. But I think really Hub would enjoy the fact that you're all here tonight supporting the club, at breaking bread together, as uh, Jamie Luch said, having a glass of wine together. He would just be so thrilled to see everybody here, and humbled as well. I would agree with that as well. Our parents and our dads had so much in common. Of course, they loved each other. But to be able to see everybody here would just, uh, would just knock him dead to know, ah, nice night for the club, 280 people. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. I'm going to ask my sister Teresa to come up, and she's going to accept the word uh, for our family. accettare questo riconoscimento per mio padre. Sono sicura che lui è presente spiritualmente con noi e condividere questo bellissimo momento. Grazie di vero cuore. Thank you so much. Shared by the Davidi Club and the Family Enrichment Program. And